All right, everybody. Thank you for your patience. I have returned. Time for some more Dragon Quest XI. Let's check out Kamu's new skill panels, which have just unlocked. Is this the, is this the guaranteed crit? Is this it? If it is, it's the one I'm interested in. We need it. We need it. I was told bottom left of the skill panel is where it is. Hits the enemy's vital point with a powerful blow. That sounds like it's it. Only another 50 points to get it. It's... it's true. I could, uh... I could refund some points, but they've been coming... It hasn't been too bad, getting skill points. Um, you know, we haven't really been checking a lot of the weapon and armor shops. I don't know if they have better stuff now or not. I've just kind of assumed that they have the same old gear. They do not have the same old gear, my god! They got new stuff. They have Mithril. I have not turned in my mini medals either. We'll go do that now. Alright, we'll go rest up, we'll save, we'll go turn in the mini medals. I just saved, I don't know what I'm doing. Literally just saved, like, a minute ago. Rest. This is what I wanted. This is what I was looking for. And there I go. I've I've just completely forgotten that I was going to go turn in mini medals and I just head off towards Ramada again. Whoa. Oh, right. We changed the order around. That's going to confuse me. Actually, you here Skill might be in the top left. 
sure. It looked like... Because this one says it hits the enemy's uh, vital points with a powerful blow. That sounds like a crit to me. What was this one? Wow, 64 MP. It better be good. That's the one, top left. Definite crit. Okay, cool. So, that actually means I can refund these points. <laughs> I spent some that I didn't need to. Excuse me. Running all over the place. Damn children. Gotta be for Kamu. That's the classic thief gear. Oh, I was really hoping it would change his costume. Do we need the hood too? That's the Hayate vest. Is there a Hayate hood? Was that the one back in the snow village? Snow village. Cray Morin. Put on the hat I got after the boss fight. I didn't notice that I got a hat, <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> I shall check. This one looks like it does have a costume, but I need the coat that goes along with it.
This is a really good upgrade for like three member, four members of the party. We're gonna buy him. Yeah, no more feathers for best girl Sylvia, but it also means that the other party members won't get, you know, completely uh, covered in feathers during victory scenes. Open. Freezing whip. Big upgrade. Well, hang on. Wait, what's the other one? Drag tail. We already have that. Man, it has been so long since I cared about anybody's upgrades. We're just not having any issues for a long time. <clears throat> I'm starting to get lazy now that we're getting closer to the end of the game. Can I get that treasure chest? I want that treasure chest, man. Oh, and we can make a new whip, or not a new whip, we can make a new, um, axe for Greg.
Oh wait, no, nope, that's the, the cat stuff. I think I sold the hood accidentally. Which I will never hear the end about. We're by that spear? We're about that spear. Let's duel equip some dragon killers, yo! I am ready to slay some dragons. Um, okay. Axe for Greg. Yeah, I really stopped crafting there for a while after, like, after the all the events at the World Tree happened. Like, I kind of... It felt like it put a timer on things. You know, it, it suddenly felt like there was a lot more urgency to our quest. That's my excuse anyways. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to hear any more on it. Uh, really? That's... The same as what you have? The Blizzard Axe is the same, but this can be upgraded compared to the King Axe. Well, the King Axe hasn't been upgraded either. Oh, look at that. I can make dragon killers. Dummy, 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 dummy. It's already at plus three. Okay, so it's really only because it's at plus three that it's as good. Nice. That was very nice. <laughs>
Also, since I've been leveled really well, I haven't felt terribly weak compared to many of the enemies. So that's another reason why I haven't really felt too stressed about gear. Because most fights have been like, eh, that wasn't bad, eh, that wasn't bad. Orbo, if you're still in chat, I just got your link, and I'm intrigued. I want, I want to try it. <laughs> I will play that with you. Well, about nine more power out of it. I'll take it. All right, onward towards Ramuda. Curious about the location of the last two orbs. Considering that... Well, no, I guess it hasn't been an orb per party member. probably have a few seeds. I do have a few seeds. Before. I forgot about the treasure chest at the weapon shop. I'm a dummy. It's fine. Whatever. Kushiso on the hero as well. There is a style. Oh, neat. It's Kushiso. Ha. Huh. Thank you. 
Oh, look at you guys. Man, I love blizzards. So much. I feel like I was doing more with the falcon swords. Would I like a DQ numbered game that was an action RPG like Kingdom Hearts? I don't think it's really necessary, and I also think that the fans in Japan would riot. One of the main reasons that Dragon Quest has, has continued to be so successful, and every main series game has been so successful, is because they've never really changed the formula. They've been polishing the same basic formula for 30 years. If we want an action RPG in our Dragon Quest, that's what we have Dragon Quest heroes for. So, you know, let's have heroes be the action RPG for Dragon Quest, and Dragon Quest can keep being Dragon Quest. And the same re you know, the same thing goes for like the uh the monster taming system that was introduced in 5. We haven't really seen a full monster taming Dragon Quest since 5. Because we have the Monsters series for those people who want to just do the monster battling. It made kind of a return in 8, but it was really a side quest thing. I would change it less than that they didn't change the formula and more that they're consistent in their delivery. I would still make the argument that the formula is unchanged. They've just polished it. Oh, right. I'm saving up for Giga Break. Does DQ5 have human party members? Yes, it does. You can totally play DQ5 without using the monster training aspect, or the monster recruitment aspect of it. There's a portion of the game where you definitely want them, but uh, it, it doesn't take too long before you start getting human party members again, and it's totally beatable without using the monsters. But some of them are really good. <laughs> hey, Gumper, how you doing? We still have not figured out what those are. Yochi are. Although, in the cutscene where it showed us the hero's star, and Ro was talking about it, the hero did finally acknowledge the Yochi. <laughs> I think we're getting close to an explanation on the little guys. By the way, Sai, during the Super Famicom version of DQ3 fan translated for the Dra Dragon Conquest recordings. I wasn't kidding in my LP, so much smoother and user-friendly than I was Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
The Super Famicom remakes are excellent. And the translations are pretty good. My only problem with Dragon Quest 3 on the Super Famicom is that the post-game is such an absurd level of grind. Um, it's, it's just bonkers. The number of liquid metals that I need for a single level now has driven me crazy. I want to finish doing the post-game, and at the same time, it just, it hurts to think about doing. Oh, right, I was, I was saying that We have actually hit a point where those dragon killers are going to be better. I mean, I'll still use the, I'll still hold on to the falcon swords for metal slime hunting, but I think right now it's not a major concern. Did we want this? I don't think so. Yeah, they were really good for a while, though. It's interesting because the hero is starting to feel like one of the weaker members of the party now. He's got some nice abilities, but just his raw attack damage is kind of sucking in comparison to like what Martina and Greg can do. Like, during the first half of the game, he was really solid, and then in the second half, the others have been kind of catching up with him. It might just be that I'm really side questy. As much as I've streamed this one, it seems gigantic. It is a good size one, but also keep in mind that it takes me much, much longer to get through any of the dialogue scenes than a native speaker will. Uh, the estimated time to beat for this game is closer to like 60 hours, and I'm closing in on 100. Are the hero's abilities as bland as his appearance? Why does everybody hate on his looks? I think he looks great. Sorry, he doesn't have crazy spiky hair. Rude. But no, he's, he's got some good abilities. It's just me or Ro is just there. Ro is great. Rose is an important part of the story and a great party member. I have no complaints about Ro.
Yeah, 60 hours is a good length, and they they shortened the main quest on purpose because it allows them to tell a tighter story. Uh, the more recent Dragon Quest games that have been longer, like 7 and 8, had some filler arcs. You know, some parts of the story that could probably be removed and the game would still be as good or better. Nine felt like the right length to me. I feel that nine is, um, probably the most average out of the Dragon Quests. Like, I feel the most neutral about nine. <laughs> Mel, do you know if the post game is required to get the canon ending so that I can get the uh, the free copy of DQ One? <gasps> it woke up! It woke up! He's not here anymore. Where did he go? Please tell me we're gonna be riding that dragon. Don't know anything about the endings. Well, it might be better that way. We'll find out together. It is required. Post game is required. Oh, I should probably get on. There's signs of a monster. Saigon. Keep an eye out. Saigon, get down! It's Grey Gnarl! Maybe? Are you friendly? Or are we fighting? Friendly or fighting? The ice in the lake was broken. I've been released after being sealed away for so long. But I was sealed away for so long I didn't expect to see... My name is Nedra. Nedra? Nedra. Give me your life as food. So, bad dragon then.
In fairness, the guy's been frozen in ice for who knows how long. I'd be hungry, too. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get it in time. It's fine, I'll say. Okay, Sylvia, you listen to me. Ro, you focus on heals. That's fine, that's fine. Nice! Dragon Slash! Dragon, s Dragon Slash while dual equipped with Dragon Killers? And oomph? Happy, happy with that. Don't you paralyze me. Healing rain, if I recall. I haven't used Sylvia's call to his parade companions. Let's do that now. I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten all about that. Was that one of his... Makama Yobi. is so good! That ultimate Dragon Lash has just completely paid for itself since I got it.
And he shuts down zone, he shuts down any kind of buffs they have. It does solid damage too. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's unknown, Cal. All that we really know is that Sylvia identifies as a lady. Things are not looking good right now. Oh, thank God. That was a really unfortunate paralysis that we got struck by. Thank you, Abyss. Thank you for clipping that. Sylvia, everybody's counting on you. Just, just keep dancing. Don't stop dancing. Holy crap. Good freaking riddance. Ba -da 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 All right, folks, I'm going to take a short break here. And uh, when we get back in about five minutes, maybe we'll find out more about Nedra. See you all shortly. Hello everybody, Saigon Cat here, and I hope you're enjoying the Dragon Quest XI Let's Play. If you are, please be sure to hit like or subscribe if you're on YouTube, and if you're on Twitch, a subscription wouldn't hurt either. This is my full-time job now. If you're feeling very generous, please go and check out my Patreon page. I do have a number of rewards over there. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Take care.